Gettysburg, Pennsylvania. Historic, timeless, and home to Gettysburg College, a prestigious four-year liberal arts institution. Recently, certain rapidly aging satirical journalists have deemed Gettysburg College, once known for its hallowed grounds, a shithole. In the warm-up, I insinuated that Kenyon College was not up to the academic standards of Columbia University. I, I, I want to I take that back. They, they, obviously, they're, they're both uh, fine institutions and, and ones of higher learning. Gettysburg, on the other hand, is a <laughs> And I, I want to make it clear that I, I make that distinction. One man, Dr. Steve Gimbel, professor of philosophy and resident cool teacher, has researched the role shittiness plays at Gettysburg College. Well, there is a deep sense in which Mr. Stewart is absolutely correct that Gettysburg College ought to be seen in a deep way, in, a, in a, an ontological sense of the term, as a shit hole. If you look at the word shit, which enters the English language in 1585 as shite, referring to dung, excrement, that which is evacuated from the bowels. But how much of a shit hole is it? It all started during the Civil War, where both Union and Confederate forces clashed over usage of the college as a receptacle for defecation. Then in 1957, the shittiness rose with the graduation of local kook and gynecologist Ron Paul. I'm in favor of you drinking raw milk if you want to. <laughs> The proverbial loaf was pinched off in 1991, when shittiness decreased after the graduation of queer eye phenom and flashy clothes enthusiast Carson Kresley. Some people talk about their grandchildren. I talk about my jackets. The end of the 90s witnessed a regular prairie dogging with the combination of Uggs, novelty t-shirts, Starbucks, and the release of Crash, the 1996 multi-platinum album by the Dave Matthews Band. What do you think of what John Stewart said about Gettysburg College? Well, if John Stewart said it, it must be true. That's that's where I get all my news from. You know, John Stewart thinks we're a shithole. I don't know if I like his tone. We're just normal people. Completely normal. Yes. Whatever normal is. <laughs> Reenactors aside, the shittiness of the college can be seen in some of the shitty amenities it possesses, such as a particle accelerator, the best campus food, free alcohol at college-sponsored events, and a 35-foot-tall rock climbing tower. The inadequacies of Gettysburg College are staggering. Got a waffle machine, smoothie machine, got a panini maker, you got omelet lady. You can do whatever you want. She put she put eggs in the omelet, she put whatever you want in the omelet. And then I can, I'm gonna go, to, go on the rock climbing wall with a panini in my hand. I, I can do that Gettysburg College. And I bleed orange and blue. And our mascot is phallic shaped, so we can't have him anymore. How does it feel to be the mascot of the shittiest college in America? I, I love it, I mean, I'm a, I'm a giant bullet. Who wouldn't love being this? Uh, we got the greatest teams ever. Lacrosse, basketball, number number two seed right now. B U L T Bullets. Bullets. Every bullet has its journey. And every journey may go through shit occasionally. But I don't mind. It means I'm doing my job. Great. That's great. To check the fallacy of the claim that Gettysburg College is in fact a shithole, we asked a professional bullshitter. Gettysburg College, as an institution of higher learning, really is a shithole in that what we do is we take in ideas from various perspectives and then through critical examination, which one could think of as sort of the middle and lower intestine, subject them to analysis and in the end, able to digest the food of thought and take that which doesn't hold up, that which isn't rigorous, and excrete it, get rid of it, allow it to graduate in four years. So truly, I think in a, in a deep way, Gettysburg College is a shithole. And that's some serious shit. Some serious shit indeed. Though dumping on a college you've yet to digest is shitty in of itself, it's only fair coming from a Comedy Central program that only highlights 
the inefficiencies and failings of the government and news media without offering any solutions. Now that's a shithole. The shit's in your John, John. <laughs>